What's up, guys? So if you look at the calendar, you might notice today is 9919. That means it's the 20th anniversary of 9999, which is the day the Sega Dreamcast was released. And today we are playing the greatest fighting game ever to grace the Dreamcast. That's Marvel vs. Capcom 2, baby. And I'm, no, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm playing the PS3 port, but that's just because it's really hard to get the Dreamcast version through HDMI into my capture card in a lagless manner. So we're playing the PS3 port, and you know I've been doing these combo challenges lately in SF4 and Marvel 3, but today we're doing our own little combo challenge here in Marvel 2. I want to learn how to do Magneto's ROM Infinite, okay? I want to find out if it's possible for me to do it, okay? Now, at Magneto's Infinite in this game, it's kind of a staple of high-level play. You end up seeing it a lot if you watch tournaments. Uh, but it's not easy to do. It's very difficult. So we're gonna run it and we're gonna see if I'm able to pull it off. So wish me luck, guys. And, uh, you know, to show you guys the infinite a little bit better, we're getting a return of the hand cam. It's been a long time, but the hand cam is back because I want you guys to be able to see my inputs. So the way that this infinite works is basically you do super dash forward and then you do light kick, light kick. So like that. And then you do super, you do air dash down, light kick, light kick again. Or I guess light kick, medium kick, if you want to be pedantic about it. And you can pretty much repeat that. You can't really do it off this starter that I'm doing. I'm kind of cheating a little bit. But yeah, there you go. That's that's the basics of it. So uh, I can get I can get like one rep. So that, that's kind of how it looks, but you can see I'm dropping it. I'm not doing the timing right. The combo's not working. So uh, can we set the dummy to auto guard? So now it, it should block if I drop the combo. Okay. So my goal here, I want to do four reps and then a finisher. So the finisher is going to look like this. So it's light punch, me light kick, medium punch, medium kick. Air dash up forward, light punch, light kick, medium punch, medium kick, heavy kick, okay? So we want to do four reps and then the finisher. So let's see if this is possible. One. Oh, see, I can't even get one rep. Oh, missed my air dash. Oh, too slow, too slow. Man, this is difficult, boys. One one tip that I've heard is that you have to delay the air dash as much as possible. So I'm trying that, but that's kind of making the combo uncombo, so. You also have to really plink the air dash into the light kick. There can't be any gap whatsoever there. Oh, and you can't miss the super dash. That's the other hard part. I mean, the the super jump. You can't miss the super jump. It can't be a normal jump. Oh. This is so hard. How do people do this consistently? Oh my god. Guys, my hand hurts so much already. Oh my god, this is too hard. Jeez, Louise.
Oh my god. I, okay, I've done, <laughs> I've done like dozens of attempts at this, just getting that first rep. And one thing I found is that if you delay the first two kicks a lot, these kicks, if you slow down those inputs, it makes this way easier. You see, like right there? That makes it way easier. So I'm trying that. Oh, very close. Ah! Oh, it's so hard. It's so hard, boys. I gotta admit, this is harder than I expected. Like, I knew that this was a hard infinite, but I don't think I really understood just how difficult it is. Just to get one rep. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's the first time that we've gotten that part. Oh, guys, 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 look, we're getting better. We're getting better. It's possible that there are some characters that this combo is easier to land on. Uh, but I don't really want to do that. I want to do it just like a, against a normal hitbox character. So I'm hoping that Ruby Heart, she has a pretty average hitbox. So maybe it'll be possible. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That was really close. It's just really hard. Oh, that was two full reps. That was two full reps. Nice. Oh, okay. We got two full reps again. I'm getting, I'm getting better for sure. I wonder if I need to delay the the second two kicks every time like da 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 you see what i mean like on the way up you do two short kicks on the way down you put a gap between the two kicks i wonder if i have to do that every time i'll try that oh man i i'm i'm getting pretty decent at this first rep now I'm gonna be honest, I really wanted to give up on this challenge after I did after I did this like 20 times without even getting the first rep. No, way more than 20. I did it like 50 times without getting the first rep. That made me want to give up, but now we're actually making progress. Ish. Yeah, see I, I went way too fast there. Yeah, didn't delay long enough there. That was that was two full reps. Okay, now kind of another thing I want to try is doing doing one rep into the finisher. I just want to try that. Just to get some practice in comboing into the finisher. See it see if it's possible. Oh, that was pretty much it, but my, I missed my air dash or something. I want to try the finisher one more time. So once again, the finisher is like this. That's the hard part is you have to... You have to double tap from dash to light punch very, very fast. Oh. Man, it's like she's not high enough. Yeah, it's like I have too much upward momentum. I need a way to launch higher or something. Maybe, maybe I should settle. Like, maybe I should just settle for that. Four reps into a lazy finisher. <laughs> it feels bad. I wanted to do the sick combo. I wanted to do that. That looks so much cooler, but... Oh, 
All right, guys. It's been 20 minutes of recording. I need to take a quick lunch break, and hopefully I can recover my hands a little bit. And then we'll come back. We'll try to get four hits. And sadly, I'm going to reduce my goal a little bit. The four, not four hits, four reps. And then the last rep, we're just going to end like that. Just standard, standard magic series. Because I, I can't seem to get that ender off, off of that low of a height. That's the problem that I'm having. Uh... So we'll be back in just one second, and then I'll try it some more. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I ate a calzone, and now I'm back feeling powered up. <clears throat> okay, four reps. Let's go. Uh-oh. This is hard. Yeah, I have to delay the two downward kicks. That for sure is a necessary step. Wait, was that it? How many reps did I do? Was that three? One. One. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna try counting them. <clears throat> one. I'm, I'm not counting the first one, by the way, because that's not a full rep. One. Ah, I can't do it now. Oh, I used all up. I used up all my energy. Hmm. It's so hard. Oh, that was almost it. That was the third rep. Okay, okay, so <clears throat> I've started really focusing on how much time I put between these downward kicks. I'm really, really trying to space those out as much as I can, and I think that makes the combo work better because she stays closer to the ground. So I, I think we're getting very close. I'm feeling good about it. Except right there. I feel like with every rep she gets higher, and that's why the combo's breaking, but it's possible that I'm also just mistiming it. No! <laughs> I think that was it, right? I'm not that good at counting, but I think that was it. Was that four reps? I, I want to do it, and also I missed the ender. But I want to be a hundred percent sure. Ah, I'm missing the air dashes. Ah, I can't, I can't hit air dashes anymore, boys. Oh, shake it out. Okay, okay. Discouragement is setting in. I'm s <clears throat> it's starting to feel further and further out of reach. Although that was a good one. You see how I can't hit my air dashes anymore? Just in case you don't know, this two button air dash, that's how you do them. But if you plink it even slightly, you get a fierce normal and it doesn't work. That felt pretty good. I'm kind of getting it back a little bit. Famous last words. Oh. 
Oh, okay, guys. I've passed. I've passed over an hour of recording for this. We we just now pulled off three hits into the ender, so I think that that's going to be a good place to stop. I can feel with the with the level of fatigue that my my right wrist and fingers are getting. We're not going to be able to get four today, but I don't want to give up the challenge. We'll be back in a later time once I've rested and recovered. I want to nail it, okay? Four hits, and then I want to figure out a better ender. So I know other options. Other options he has are like Hypergrav Tempest. I don't know how to do that either. So maybe for next time we can we can add more reps to the infinite. And then we can try to end it in Hypergrav Tempest or something like that. So I can I can learn that part of the combo as well. That's Hypergrav Tempest in case you don't know. And then he can DHC that for like a million damage. So that'd be a good way to end it. So you can go like this, right? And get a big damage ender. So I think that's what we'll try next time. We'll do more reps of the ROM. End it in Hypergrav Tempest into DHC into Storm. And we'll do a jillion damage. So that's the plan. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. It was a lot of fun to try to learn this legendary combo. Even if my whole arm is sore, it was really worth it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one.